welcome to ATM Studio and this is your ATM and in today's video I will show you guys how to crochet this silly little cute pepperfish pouch look at his lips oh my gosh so cute so this is the modification of my second blue pouch that I uploaded the tutorial a few months ago and you guys really like it and I'm so happy so I made a new version using this pattern with a slight modification and here you get a little bit of a fish pouch to make this pouch you will need to know some basic crochet stitches like single crochet half double crochets double crochets or chains and to make this pouch all you need is five blind accordion yarn in four colors and you can use 3.5 or four millimeter crochet hook you will also need like this 10 or 12 millimeter size eyes and all-purpose glue or hot glue gun to stick the mount on the pouch and the other things are like needle, scissors and some stitch markers so without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial see you guys again first, let's make a slip knot wrap the yarn around your two fingers then after that, pull the yarn through the loop like this then insert your hook into the loop and adjust the size of it then after that, let's make chains. Yarn over and pull through, you make the first chain. Yarn over again and pull through, you make the second one. So please make a total of 12 chains. After making 12 chains, let's start the first round. Skip the first two chains and in the third chain, we will make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain and pull the yarn and pull up now you got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through the first two loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops and you got one double crochet according to the pattern we will also make the second double crochet in the same stitch so two double crochets in this third stitch after this make one double crochet each in the next eight chains or make 8 double crochets in total after making 8 double crochets you will be left with one less chain now I finished making one double crochet each in the next 8 chains and now I'm left with one less chain so in this last chain make three double crochets together after these three double crochets we will continue the pattern on the other side of the chains so in these stitches so now what you have to do is you will have to make eight double crochets on the other side of the chains so insert your hook into the other side of the chain and make a double crochet like this then after that also repeat making one double crochet each until you got eight double crochets in total After making 8 double crochets, again you will be left with one last stitch and in this last stitch, make a double crochet and for those who want to count the double crochets, there will be a total of 22 double crochets in this round 1 and now to finish this round, find the second chain of chain 2 that you made in the beginning and insert your hook into the second chain, pull the yarn and pull through to make a slip stitch now pull through like this and now you made a slip stitch to start round two make two chains first then after that you will have to repeat the pattern which is making double crochet increase for two times double crochet increase means you will have to make two double crochets together in one stitch now i'm making the first double crochet in the first stitch since it is the increase, I will make the second double crochet in the first stitch. Now I made double crochet increase for one time. 
According to the pattern, you will have to make double crochet increase for two times. So I'm also making two double crochets together in the second stitch. Then after making the double crochet increase for two times, make eight double crochets. That is making one double crochet each in the next eight stitches. After eight double crochets, you will have to do double crochet increase for three times. That means you will have to make two double crochet each in the next three stitches. Now I'm gonna make the double crochet increase for the first time. One double crochet and then second one together in this stitch. Now I made one double crochet increase and I will make the second double crochet increase in this stitch. Then I will make double crochet increase for the third time in this stitch. So in these three stitches, there will be six double crochets. Then after that, make eight double crochets. And after making eight double crochets, you will be left with one stitch. So in that last stitch, you will have to make a double crochet increase. So here, this is the last stitch. And in this last stitch, please make two double crochets. Then after that, to end this round two, you will have to make a slip stitch. But before making a slip stitch, we will change the color to yellow. So to change the color, make a slip knot with the yellow yarn first. Then after that, we will attach this loop. So to make a slip stitch with the yellow yarn, insert your hook into the second chain. Then after that, attach the loop to the hook like this. And make a slip stitch. And now we can start round three. For round 3, start with 2 chains as usual. Then after that, we will make 1 double crochet in the first stitch and the double crochet increase in the second stitch. And you will have to repeat this pattern for 2 times. Now I'm making the first double crochet in the first stitch. Then after that, I will make the double crochet increase in the second stitch. So now I finished repeating this pattern for one time and I will repeat this again. So make one double crochet in this stitch. Then after that, make a double crochet increase in the next stitch. You can cut the white yarn because we don't need that anymore. Then after that, please make 8 double crochets. After making 8 double crochets, you will get like this. Then after that, you will have to repeat this pattern again. But for this time, you will have to repeat this for 3 times. So make 1 double crochet. In the first stitch, then after that, make a double crochet increase in the next stitch. Please repeat this for three times in total. Now I finished repeating this for the first time. And now I'm making the pattern for the second time. And now I'm repeating this pattern for the third time. After repeating the pattern, make 8 double crochets. And after 8 double crochets, there will only be 2 stitches remaining. In these 2 stitches, you will have to make 1 double crochet 
and a double crochet increase in the next stitch. Then after that, make a slip stitch to end this round. For those who want to work with the numbers, there will be a total of 34 double crochets in this round. So now we finished round 3 and to start round 4, make 2 chains as usual. And in this round, please make 1 double crochet in each and every stitch. So there will be a total of 34 double crochets in this round. And when you reach the start, don't forget to make a slip stitch in the second chain of chain 2. So now round 4 is finished and in round 5, we will start making the spikes for the puffer fish. So to start, chain 1 and make a single crochet. Insert your hook into the first stitch, pull the yarn and pull up. Then after that, yarn over and pull through those two loops to make a single crochet. Make one single crochet each in the next four stitches. But at the fourth stitch, we will change the color to blue. So for the fourth single crochet, insert your hook and pull the yarn and stop there. Then after that, grab your blue yarn and make a slip knot. For those who want to use one color only, you don't need to repeat this step. Just continue normal single crochet with the yellow yarn. But for those who want to make the spikes in a different color, you will have to change color like this. So after making a slip knot, attach the blue yarn like this and make the fourth single crochet in this way. Then after that, we will make a triple crochet. So to make that, yarn over two times and insert your hook into the next stitch. Pull the yarn and pull up. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops or the middle two loops. Then for these last two loops, please yarn over and pull through with the yellow yarn. Like this. So now we are back to yellow yarn again. Then after that, make four single crochets. One. And if you push the triple crochet like this, it will look like a spike. And again, make four single crochets. And at the fourth one, we will change color. So this is the fourth one. Insert your hook, pull the yarn, then after that, this time, grab your blue yarn and yarn over and pull through to change to blue yarn. Then after that, make a triple crochet, yarn over two times, insert your hook, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the middle two loops. And lastly, change to yellow yarn and yarn over and pull through the last two loops with the yellow yarn then if you push the triple crochet you will get a little spike so you have to continue this pattern which is making four single crochets and one triple crochet and also you will have to do some color changes and please repeat this pattern all around until you reach the start. Now I'm at the start and I don't have enough stitches to repeat the pattern. I only have 4 stitches left. So in those 4 stitches, just make 4 single crochets. Then after that, to end this round, make a slip stitch in the chain 1 space. And now round 5 is finished. 
for round six, make two chains and make one double crochet in each and every stitch. And when you reach the start, don't forget to make a slip stitch in the second chain of chain two. So now I'm making one double crochet each on the single crochets and on those blue triple crochets just do a normal double crochet. So just insert your hook into the stitch like this and make a double crochet. In this round 7, we will also make the spikes, but in this round, the spikes will be placed between these two spikes at the fifth round. So to start, chain one and make one single crochet. But after the first single crochet, we will make a triple crochet. So please change the yarn to blue at the first single crochet. So change your yarn like this at the first single crochet then after that make a triple crochet in the second stitch and over two times insert your hook into the second stitch pull the yarn yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and in and for these last two loops change to yellow yarn and pull through with the yellow yarn and now you make a spike then after that make five single crochets and at the fifth one you will have to change color to blue and make a triple crochet now i finished making four single crochets and i will change the yarn color at this fifth one so at this two loops change to blue yarn and pull through the last two loops with this blue yarn then after that make a triple crochet in the next stitch don't forget to change to yellow yarn before you pull the last two loops so like this so now you can see that this bike is in the middle of the two spikes at the fifth round then after that we will repeat the pattern which is making four single crochets and one triple crochet next so first make four single crochets and at the fourth one we will change the color to blue and make and make one triple crochet with that blue yarn So now I finished repeating this pattern for the first time and you will have to repeat this for four more times and then after that you will be left with one last stitch and in that last stitch please make one single crochet then after that make a slip stitch to end this round. After this round we will repeat the same pattern of the previous rounds so for round 8 Make one double crochet each. For round 9, repeat the pattern of round 5. For round 10 and 11, make one double crochet each and you will get like this. For the eyes, you can insert them on the second round. Before moving on to the pattern, let's make its mouth first. So grab your pink yarn and make a slip knot. Then after that, make a total of 10 chains. After making 10 chains, make sure that the strap is not twisted. And find the first chain and make a slip stitch in that first chain. So like this. Then after that, cut the yarn.
Then pull up the yarn like this and bring the yarn to the bottom. Then after that, tie those two tails together. And then after that, grab your hot glue gun or multi-purpose glue to stick this on the pouch. So this is the glue that I'm using. After sticking the mouth on the pouch, and when you feel like the glue is dried enough, grab your crochet hook and grab those two tails inside the pouch. So this is like your weaving in the ends. You can either cut those two tails if you wish. And now we can continue the pattern of the pouch. So to continue the pattern, please undo the slip stitch because we will change to blue yarn for the tail of the fish. So insert your hook into the second chain and make a slip stitch with the blue yarn. Then after that, for the last two rounds of this pouch, we will just make double crochet each stitch rounds. So for round 12 and 13, please make one double crochet each in every stitch. And when you reach the start, don't forget to make a slip stitch. And also you can cut the yellow yarn because we don't need that anymore. When you finished round 13, chain 1 and cut the yarn and hide the tail inside the pouch. And now the pouch pattern is finished and all we need to do is the fins and the strap for the pouch. So now let's make the fins. So make a slip knot and chain 5 in total. After making 5 chains, skip the first 2 chains and make a double crochet in the 3rd chain. Then after that, make a double crochet each in the next 2 chains. So there will be 3 double crochets in total. And then after that, chain 2 and make a slip stitch in the same stitch and please leave a long tail for sewing this is an example of how i sew the fin on the pouch and i sew it on round 5 and 6 after sewing, don't forget to secure the thread and also hide it inside the pouch. For the strap, make a slip knot and make a total of 70 chains. Then after that, cut the yarn and let's attach the strap to the pouch using the needle. First, insert the strap from the side of the pouch. Go under two stitches and come out like this. Then after that, pull the strap. Don't pull all the way, just the middle until you reach the middle of the strap then after that skip two and go under two stitches and again repeat this skip two stitches and go under two stitches 
So you will have to repeat this all around until you reach the place where you first insert the strap. Now I'm at the start and you can see that the strap is working. So, so now you can tie these two tails and after making multiple knots, please cut the excess yarn. If you want to hide this knot, you can just move it to the middle back of the pouch by pulling the strap like this. So now the tutorial is finished and I hope you will be able to make your own cute pufferfish pouch. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you all in my next video. Bye bye!